We're putting in a culvert bridge across our creek in this episode of City Billy Adventures. Stay tuned. My wife and I grew up in the suburbs of Northeast Ohio, and we started our family there too. Then a few years ago, we stumbled into this dilapidated estate property that just had way too much potential to pass up. Follow along as we DIY our way through creating our dream estate, one project at a time. A wise man once said, you're from the city, but you like hillbilly things. You're a city billy. So unless you slept through the intro, you saw that we've spent the last five years rehabbing this oversized, dilapidated house. But what you didn't see is we've been simultaneously making some major changes to the surrounding property too. Over the last couple years, we drained and dredged this one and a half acre lake, built a dock, added a sledding ramp, cut down over 50 trees, put in a 150 yard shooting range, and brought in hundreds of truckloads of fill dirt to level our backyard. There are no days off at the City Billy Ranch. One of the projects that's been on our list since we moved in was to build a bridge across this small creek so we can access the rest of the property. We have dreams of four-wheeler trails and maybe even a cabin back here someday. Now currently you can get into the woods on foot, but it's not exactly easy. The dam at the back of the lake slopes down towards the creek, then goes back uphill into the woods. And it's a fairly significant drop off down into the creek. Ain't no vehicles getting across here. So my initial plan was to build a wooden bridge across the creek using 2x12s and concrete pillars. Now other than the fact that wood requires maintenance, and I don't know how we'd get all that concrete back here, it was otherwise a pretty decent plan. And we also discussed using telephone poles, steel I-beams, or repurposing an old flatbed semi-trailer. But we're finishing up leveling and grading our backyard, and we have a buttload of fill dirt that we could use too. So the new plan is to install a culvert in the creek and cover it with dirt. This should be a more permanent option, and it also allows us to feather the slope so the grade across the creek isn't so steep. So my guys from MB Excavating and Kaufman Enterprises are back, and it's time to finally get this job going.
that'll do it for this project. Hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll have grass and the dirt will have dried and settled enough that we can drive vehicles across. In the meantime, we have plenty of other projects to work on. We'll see you soon.